Hello guys, welcome back to Falling Back to Boy, and today I am here playing Portal Stories Man. Yeah. And I saw so I saw this game on Steam and it looked pretty interesting to me. And uh oh. I didn't mean to load the game. Will that just start me off on chapter one? I'm assuming it will, because there's no other place for me to start. Okay. So I saw this on Steam and it looked pretty interesting and I saw some other YouTubers playing it. And I thought it would be interesting to play. Now, I've played the other games and beaten them. Oh, dang it. Chapter 1. There we go. Um, now, as far as I can tell, this takes place before both games. And it's about Cave Johnson and founding the portal, or the Aperture Science, uh... Uh, organization, I guess. So. Oh, okay, so this is like Half-Life. Because it's like, if you get rid of the top of the thing. The, uh, train. Yeah, okay. Train car. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, that do I have good. something to show you. That's not the exact guy. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that oh. as one of the biggest oh, okay. compliments you'll ever get in your life. Okay. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. Wow, that's great. I kept great. dreaming bigger and better. That's great. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought okay. you here. Yeah. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, wait. Where are we again? <laughs> So, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who <laughs> built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science <laughs> Innovators. I don't think he knows we're what he's talking about. We're still getting some stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Something tells me that I am the only candidate, and nobody else signed up for this because they're not stupid like I am. I can see a lot of death happening with me here. It's like... I'm playing this game, I'm playing this game, oh, okay, we're going around shooting portals all over there. Oh my gosh, it's a turret! <laughs> and then you're dead. The turret shot me to death. See what I mean? All right. you're now arriving at Aperture See Central Station. what I mean. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? All right, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> Which door is going to open? This one? Oh, okay, none of them. I'm just going to uh, run out of oxygen and die. That's great. No, I'm not dead. Uh, I, I hope I'm not dead. I mean, it just faded to black. That's nothing bad. Nothing bad. I hope. It's like, you made it here. Now that you're here, you're gonna die. Neurotoxin activated, you're dead. Repulsion gel. Science spheres. That's what those things are. And superconductor test. Are they shooting electricity at me? Because I'd prefer they didn't do that. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Okay, that's great. So I feel completely fine about this. 
Uh, Aperture Cola Repulsion Soda, Speedy Sarsaparilla, Caffeinated Decaf. So, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> Citranium Soda and Regolith. Same thing over here? Yes, it is. So, departures and arrivals. Turret test labs are city high security clearance. Visitor entrance. Okay, so they got rid of all these things? Or what? Or these things that we're building? I don't know. I don't care. Let's just go. We're gonna go. Science and debaters. Everything looks the same, and we're outside! Here Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete, on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up the dents in the wall because someone was too hands-on. Interesting. So, the Sleep Easy Motel... Um. Oh yes, I can jump over that. That's my life dream. I wanted to jump over that fence so bad it just needed to be jumped over. Okay, what to say? Aperture Science Innovators, established 1947. Oh, ooh, stairs. You must go on the stairs. No, I wanted to go up the stairs. Come on. You're gonna allow me to do this, right? No! Oh, come on. I want to explore! I wanted to explore the building! I don't know. The moon is a lovely thing in the sky. Now, that looks dangerous back there. It's red. That means I should go towards it. And there's a button. I want to see what that button does. Oh, dang it. It's just a light. I want to see what that button does. Come on. Can I touch the button? No. Please? You don't just show me a button and then not let me touch it. I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. What if I want to go see what this is? And all your allergens. Antimatter. How could you be allergic to antimatter? And first of all, wouldn't it kill you if you touched it? I forget. Is that is that how it works? Oh, that's a cool picture. Interesting. If only Aperture Science was actually like that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, you're the best. We want the best, and you're it. Uh, I don't think I'm any of those things on that sign. A devoted ally for innovation. Okay, can I go in here? No. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, I can go here. Whoop. Okay, so, let's... at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no, the zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boy is chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> <clears throat> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Okay, well, I guess I'm going on an elevator. I wanted to explore, but no. Can I get over this? Can I please get over this? Can I... Can I cheat? By getting all these boxes. Can I get on these boxes and then jump? No, I cannot. Okay, I crouch jumped and everything. It didn't work. So don't yell at me later on in the comments saying, Why didn't you try this, Raggedy Boy? Because I did. I'm going to press the elevator button. Wait, that's not the elevator. Is this not the way I'm supposed to go? Is this the way I came down? Because if it is, I'm an idiot. I think it's the way it came down. It's the way... No, it's not. Well, excuse me then, because... If I'm not supposed to go down here... 
which I'm guessing I'm not because it's not doing anything. Uh, do I just go over here then and try to find an elevator? Was there an elevator over here? There might have been an elevator over here. I might be just... I've always noticed that whenever someone starts playing a game, you always, like, if you're watching, you always notice that they're missing things. But then when you start playing a game, you're like, wait, how did I miss that as well? Like, we always miss things, us YouTubers, when we're playing these games because, I don't know, it's a curse. It's a YouTuber curse. You'll be playing the game and it's like, Raggedy Boy, no, stupid, the elevator's right there. Why aren't you paying attention? Look, the elevator is right there. And then I'm just gonna keep walking past it over and over again, continuing to fail, because that's just how it works. No, but seriously. He said the door on the right. Unless he meant the door on the left. Which isn't impossible, because... <gasps> Button! Can I press it? No! I wanted to press the button. I'm sad now. I'm guessing I'm going over here. There's supposed to be an elevator, according to Steve Johnson, but I'm probably being an idiot and missing the elevator because I'm blind. Can I use this? Hello? Let me in! Let me in! Okay, they don't care. They don't care about me. So where's this flip dipping elevator? I'd like to get through here. Okay. Uh, I'm an idiot. That was the elevator. I knew it. I knew it. It's a YouTuber's curse. The freaking elevator's right there. I want to get out. I don't like that sound. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. It's like, where's the elevator? Where's the elevator? Where's the elevator? It's right there, idiot. But I don't get. I don't. I don't notice it. See, I knew you guys would be yelling at me. Don't say anything in the comments, okay? It's okay. That doesn't sound good. Here in Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my guys. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Oh, uh, can I talk now? Thank you! Uh, okay, so, um, th already this is looking pretty awesome. I remember these spheres, spheres though. I wasn't sure what they were, but now it all makes sense. I mean, technically this is a, uh, community-made game. But, I'm just gonna ad adopt this as the official storyline, since there is no explanation otherwise. And Valve's never going to make a Portal 3, or Half-Life 3. When you get to the offices, jerks. I'll tell you a bit more. 
This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <coughs> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. I, I smell fishy viciousness because I do not believe you are telling me everything. I don't think I will be under there for nine minutes or less. I don't know why I said nine specifically, but it, apparently it's nine minutes. And the reason I think this is because in Portal 2, I w my character was in... I don't like that. Is that just the elevator sound? I guess it's just the elevator sound. So let's go just a little bit further. We might do like a test or two and then end the episode. Because I'm not so, sure. As I said on the last pre recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's oh. short term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We don't have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Can I look don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Got six signs, boys. Disappear because of him. Okay, so... This is interesting. Now the water doesn't look exactly like water. So I'm going to avoid it as best as possible because it doesn't look like I want to swim in that. Swim! Swim! Voice crack. Swim! I don't want to swim in that. No, I can't jump that. Okay. If you say so, game. Let's go. And we continue. Science Innovations. Is that Cave Johnson? Yes it is. He looks like... Kinda like Captain America. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen... Oh, that's the toilets. I don't need to go there. I'll never need to use bathroom. Nobody needs those. Okay. Well, somebody died here. No. It was this, like... His special chair of, I'm your boss, and I will fire you if you drop your typewriter on the ground like you just did there, sir. You're dead. You're fired. He's dead. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode as soon as we hit the beddy bed, 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 bed thing. Oh, wait, does that seriously make... Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, no, that was just a floor. I thought that was, like, the, uh, oh, the, uh... Don't worry, those turrets won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lied to me. Okay. I wonder what those are. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Yeah. Is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Mm, e, sleep. Cutscene! Oh, I have hands! It's amazing. My girl. I'm a girl. I think. Because I have. Yeah. Okay, I am. This is not creepy at all. How can I go to sleep? Apparently just like that. My head shouldn't be moving like that. The way it was... <laughs> That's not good. Should I be awake for this? Maybe? No? No, okay. Guess not. And that is it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm just gonna stretch because that's what I do. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Uh, is a is is this thing on? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Oh, right. You can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though. We got shot. Okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Nah. Uh, that will be the end of this episode. Hope you guys have a good day or night, whatever time of the day it is that you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Why are you still here? I told you to leave. I told you to leave.